In this video we're going to go over how you can use the multiple uh, trigger states to create multiple shift modifiers for your controller. So what you can do is, in the last video we learned what the red and green states mean for each of these triggers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our touchpad click is going to be our shift modifier to modify the input of each of these to duplicate the number of face buttons we have. So instead of just having these four face buttons, we're going to set it up so we have essentially eight, and we can perform eight commands with those buttons. So the first thing we need to do is, since we're going to be using our face buttons um, to create shifted uh, functions, we need to go to the mapping for those, and we need to unmap each of those. And we'll explain why in a minute, but what you want to do is if you go into it, go to your controller and click unbound and that'll blank them out so it won't be a b x y or a b yeah a b x y anymore so once you do that now we can create we can recreate the functions of those buttons through macros so cross and we want to make this red because this is going to be the normal press, meaning you know it's not going to be shifted, meaning we're not pressing the trackpad and this. We're only pushing the cross. So we make the cross green, meaning it must be true. We make the touchpad red, meaning it must be false. And we're going to have that be our A button. Actually, we need to split that. So that's going to be a press. Wait for a release and then a release. And what that means is it'll hold the button as long as I'm holding the button uh, on the input. So we create that and then we have to do the same thing for each of the four buttons. So we have the cross, now we're going to go create the circle. And again, I gotta split the press and release. Square. triangle lastly. And now we're going to create new macros and for each of those, instead of the trackpad being red, we're going to make it green. And now we can do different functions. Um, I'm going to have this... Hmm. Well, so let's just do some letters here. And again, I'm going through all these, making sure the touchpad is green on this trigger. Um, so that way it fires with the shift. Alright, go ahead and save that. Reconnect our controller. Now if I fire up a notepad. Now, you can see here on the controller input, I'm going to go ahead and push each of these without the shift, uh, which is our trackpad press, and you see they behave as normally. Now if I push this, move my cursor over there, 
you're going to see I'm actually hitting those uh, letter keys on the keyboard, and you see that the you see that the uh, input on the controller isn't doing anything. So there we have we turned four buttons, or essentially five, counting the shift button, into eight commands. Now you can expand that even further. You could have two different shift buttons if you want. Um, you could set it up so that you can have. So now not only do you click the trackpad, but you can have it so if you click it either on the left side or the right side. So here if we click it, it's going to mean that we have to push it down on the left side. Here it means we have to push it down on the right side. So there, there, there's an example of how you can split it up even further. You can add as many uh, shift modifiers in there as you want to make you, know, you can essentially have a few hundred controls being operated by your DualShock.